Viking Lord As wolf and will to cause him fright That fights with wit a sharper sword And stands a cool by day and night My instructions, Fax. Just two more steps. Now onto the plank. That's it. Oh, he weighs a ton. Oh, I think I made it. You won't forget to bring me back a present, Vicky, like a pretty necklace, huh? Mm, don't worry, I know exactly what you want. The same necklace as my mother has. Oh, one more thing. Huh? Don't forget to always sleep on your back. If you don't, you may get a tummy ache if there's a storm at sea. I'll be fine. I love the sea. But you can't leave without without work. Without kissing me goodbye the way the men kiss their wives. Come on. <laughs> Hoist the anchor and we're off! Vicky, you won't forget! What? My necklace with a pretty gold chain! I won't forget! Oh, see you soon! the Mediterranean or I'm not a Viking. I don't believe I've ever seen a ship like that. Neither have I, but if I've heard tell of them, that ship is either Greek or <laughs> Italian. <laughs> Italians and Greeks are very rich, they say. How lucky for us that they're sailing our way. Right, you, Rob? Yes, their merchant ships are always loaded with treasure. Well, then, what are we waiting for, men? Why don't we go and have a closer look at what they're carrying? Uh, forward, brave men of flake. Time to pay them a visit. <laughs> They're coming closer, and don't panic. Let's see what they have to say. But, Captain, are you thinking of surrendering? Yes, of course. What choice do we have? You know, the Vikings' reputation for being savages as well as I do. Why be killed unnecessarily? However, they're also known as for not being terribly bright. And so, if we use our heads, we might just turn defeat into victory. <laughs> That's very good thinking. Well done, Captain. <laughs> Men, prepare to fire! Ready! Fire! Hold your fire! Huh? 
What are they trying to do? Make it easy for us? Welcome on behalf of the crew and myself. We are proud and happy to finally meet a ship of Viking warriors. We've heard so much about you and your exploits. What is all this gibberish? We're not here to join you in a tea party. Oh, we are only too well aware of that. Nevertheless, meeting a Viking has always been our dream. Are you trying to pull our leg or something? Do you think we're stupid enough to believe what you're saying? Ah, but it is the truth, my friends. The courage and the fighting spirit of the Vikings is a legend back where we come from. In Greece, the word Viking is honoured and revered. And now at least we can pay you the respect you deserve. Oh, we're also thrilled. Never in our wildest dreams did we ever imagine that we would see a Viking face to face. Oh, if you would only do us the honor of returning with us to our country, I know you wouldn't regret it. Our ship is not carrying a treasure worthy of you. But our king has so often said that if we ever encounter a Viking ship, we should urge its men to come to Greece and receive a true royal bounty. Do you mean to say that we are so renowned that the Vikings' reputation has spread all the way to Greece? And beyond. Our king says that if he ever ever comes back to Earth again after his death, he wants to return to the Viking. If you continue telling us ridiculous lies, you're going to be fishing an arrow out of your tongue. You must believe me why even our children know all about you. Do you realize that their favorite pastime is Viking tag? They play it all day long. Yes, and once a year in our theater, we have a religious festival with a Viking play. And the audience laughs so hard, they can hardly control themselves. <laughs> and every Greek girl dreams of marrying a Viking warrior. That's all they think about. Uh, thanks to you, our popularity with them has gone down. <laughs> <laughs> yes, laugh at us if you like. What can we do about it? You know the saying, seeing is believing. So why don't you all come to Greece with us and see for yourselves? I guarantee you the welcome of your lives. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Greece, where the girls won't leave us in peace. Yes, let's go. We don't want to keep the king and the ladies waiting. And I want to go to the theatre just to see who's playing my part. Uh, uh, all right, men. We'll set our sails for Greece. Ready, let's go! We're, We're off to Greece! <laughs> Vic was the only one who didn't think the Vikings should go. He thought the captain's words were too good to be true. Flake is prettier, but this isn't bad. Our castle is very well protected, thanks to the high walls and the drawbridge. Our king designed it. It took 20 years to build, and it cost a fortune. We're very proud of it. I can understand that. You're so well protected, you must save quite a bit of money on war supplies. <laughs> and I wouldn't be surprised if they spent all that money on buying precious things from all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> Listen, Father, after we've finished eating, I think we should thank them for their hospitality and leave. There's something fishy about this. I can feel it, can't you? Don't be so suspicious, son. If you're so frightened and mistrusting, why didn't you stay on board and go to sleep? My dear friends and guests, this is an historic occasion. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for honoring us with your visit. I understand that we have quite a reputation around here, Your Majesty. Yes, but before we bestow riches upon you worthy of your reputation, let me show you where they are. <laughs> so would you please all step out on the balcony? Oh. oh. Where are they? You're looking at them, my friends. We built that temple especially to store our treasures. They're yours. Oh, there must be a fortune stored in there. Uh, yes, and you may take whatever you like. There's more than enough for each of you. Oh, I'm sure. And we can take anything we want. All of it, even your majesty. Of course. The shortest route to the temple is through the passage at the foot of the stairs. It will lead you into the garden, which we call a labyrinth. They fell for it, Your Majesty. You're a genius. <laughs> yes, I've got to admit you're right. Once they get into the labyrinth, they'll never get out alive. <laughs> 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 no? 
Uh, you're just talking. Oh, you're on hell. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for looking after him, Captain. <laughs> now, what shall we do with you, my little baby Viking, huh? You never had any intention of giving away your treasure. You cheated. You lied to us. It was all a trap. Oh, no, little one. We believe in fair play. Once they arrive at the temple, they can take anything their hearts desire. But first, they must reach the temple. <laughs> and I'll look after you, just as the old man said. <laughs> Don't you think we have a lovely garden? No! those little black dots moving about? Those are our heroes in search of treasure. Look, a door! Ah. Ah. Aha! Let's go, charge! <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> All they've done is run around in circles. Let's have a drink and leave them to it, the greedy fools. <laughs> Wait, Your Majesty. May I go into the labyrinth and be with my father? You must be mad to want to go in there after what you've seen. You'll never be able to come out of it. But of course, if you insist. Thanks, you're so kind. First to the right, and now to the left, and now left again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Our land will always be safe as long as the labyrinth exists. Here's the labyrinth. You think you're telling me something new? I invented it just for that reason. Let's drink to our brilliant king. Long live the king. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Thank you. <laughs> I'll think I've run myself out. But let's walk from now on. I think we've missed a turn somewhere. Good idea, Chief. If this is the shortcut, I'd rather not see the long cut. <laughs> uh, I get the strange feeling that we've been here before, don't you? I think we've made one big circle. I don't think I could go another step. <laughs> Oh. It's just about time for my afternoon now. I feel so, uh, so. Uh, what are we, Vikings or mice? We have our reputation to defend here in Greece. Back in fleet, we run 20 kilometers every morning with rucksacks on our backs. Mm. Oh, Vicky! Vicky! Where are you? Vicky! There has to be a way to get out of the labyrinth. I've got it! Yes! Why in the world didn't I think of it before? I 
think I've been here before. I went to the left here last time. Father? Father? Where are you? Father, answer me, please! Oh, we're here, Vicky. Come this way quickly, son. I wonder what Father means by here. Vicky, come and help us. We're all completely lost. Vicky! I'll be there as soon as I find you, but I need your help for that. I want all of you to take off your helmets and start banging on the wall with them. Oh! Well, what are you waiting for? Start banging now. I don't hear a thing. That's good. Keep it up. Don't stop until I tell you to. Ah, they're on the other side. Here, maybe? Oh, uh, no. And here? No, if my wife could see me now. It's getting louder. Oh! Be all right. <laughs> now listen. You've got nothing to worry about. I'm going to get us all out of here. But we ran so much, we're completely exhausted. I don't think we can go on. Then you stay here and rest up a little. I'll go on. Now, Jury, you hold on to this thread. When I find the treasure, I'll give you the signal. <laughs> Good luck hunting, Vic. <laughs> That lad is so brave and clever. Mm. Of course, yes. it's no wonder, considering the father he's got. before my nose drops off. Do you hear? Harry, he's found it! He's found it! They got out, you say? Yes, Your Majesty, I don't know how they did it, but they're coming our way now. But no one has ever escaped the labyrinth. But it's impossible. How did they do it? Up, two, three, four. 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 Up, two, three, four.
father, along with all the other presents, don't forget to bring mother back the most beautiful cloth you can find. I'm a little short on things to wear for the moment. <laughs> yes, that's an excellent idea and practical. Perhaps she can knit me a nice warm pair of pajamas for those long winter nights. What do you think? <laughs> I have no choice but to congratulate you, Vikings. Ah, Zeus, why have you deserted me? Ah, ah. Time to go! We did it, then! We got what we came for! Is that the way you say goodbye in Greece, Majesty? Just a bit of sweet revenge for being the first ones ever to succeed in escaping from my labyrinth. You're a sore loser, aren't you? But then again, we have such a high reputation in Greece. You should have expected it, you scoundrel. We're smarter than you. Oh, that one-eyed bandit. If I only could get my hands in him, I'd show him okay. about your blood pressure, Your Majesty. Don't make him too angry, Father. Don't forget, we still have to get out of here. The child is right. You managed to get out of the labyrinth. Yes, I'll grant you that. But you fell for my bridge trick, which I invented as well. You lost fair and square. What kind of a cowardly king are you to play such an underhanded trick at us? You'll pay for this. I am a king on whose mercy you now depend, and so I'd be very careful about what I say. Or have you forgotten that you are in the water and not I, my friend? In fact, I think the water suits you so well, I just may leave you there until you drown. <laughs> <laughs> Well, our heroes are in hot water, even though it's cold. Do you think they'll succeed in getting away? We'll see next time. <laughs>